played in all kinds of different bands through high school and in college as well. I, I, I went to UC Berkeley um, and I was a biology major and then I became an English major because I spent all my time writing lyrics in class. Um, so I think I got fairly deeply involved in using lyrics as a means of narrative. When I got out of college, I really was at this crossroads as all people are deciding what they wanted to do with their life. And my dad said to me, he said, look, there's all these, all these things that you want to do. You need to pick what you really, really want to do. What's really core to you? And do that and then look at all the other things in your life from, from the perspective of at least having tried to achieve that one thing. So I said, you're right, dad. I want to rock. And he's like, no, don't you do that. Terrible idea, but that's what I did. And I sort of took that vow of poverty to throw out all contingencies, all backup plans were, were, were excised, and I just went only after that one thing of fulfilling myself through music. Realistic dreams and unrealistic dreams. I mean, up until I was 16, I wanted to be a professional skateboarder or a rock star. And to some, there's no dream that's too unrealistic. But at this time in my life, I'm not attempting to be a rock star or an actor just because I don't have the time or do I have the financial stability to put my effort into hopefully landing a, a job like that. It's just not... To me, it's not realistic, and I have to think realistic, but at the same time, it's hard to give up your dreams, right? People say, land a job that's decent, it's going to pay you well, and it's going to give you good benefits, and if you, even if you don't like your job, you have your free time, and that's when it counts. But even if you work on a minimum of 40 hours a week, 9 to 5, and you don't like your job, you can't just snap out of that negative attitude. It's... You carry that shit with you whether you're at a good job or you're at a bad job. God knows what it's going to be like um, in 40 years when it comes to retirement for us kids. If you have a shitty job and think, oh, I can't wait to get the fuck out of here on Friday because then I have my spare time, you're, you're going to bitch about it and you're going to feel negative towards it. And the key is to find something, even if it doesn't pay you well, I'd rather make a lower amount of money and love what I do than make a lot of money and hate when I do. Life's tricky. You gotta find your niche. You gotta find that. And some people get lucky. Not everyone's gonna be a king. Not everyone's gonna be a rock star. Not everyone's gonna be an actor. Everyone can be a trash man. You know what I mean? It's nothing against trash men. I actually hear they do quite well. <laughs> the only thing we can do is hope that something better will come out of it. and It will. Take it one day